Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl Glorilla, aka Big Glow, and I'm here for my first time in Pittsburgh. I'm finna sit down with George Pickens of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Y'all know this is my team. Y'all know we number one. What? You think I went to school for chiropractic? Wow. Looking good as hell today. Just sent my five a test. Welcome to Pittsburgh, man. This is George Pickens here, Steelers receiver. We out here on Carson Street here at Carmine's. We trying to check out the soul food in Pittsburgh. Oh, we feasting in this m This is NFL City Life. NFL City Life. And you have to be here. Let's go. <laughs> They be looking at me crazy when I say I want some fish from my old spaghetti. Oh yeah, this crazy, man. I got me a new spot when I come down here. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all check out Carmaz on the south side. Best soul food in the city. Don't play on no day. You from Memphis, right? Yeah. What made you be a Steelers fan? I remember I was a Steelers fan since I was three, like my dad always told me that. You know, you don't remember being three years old. Yeah. I just remember being a Steelers fan. <laughs> you from Alabama? Yeah. What part of Alabama are you from? Birmingham. Country type shit. Yeah. So I don't sound too crazy when I talk to you. No. Nah. Okay. You been working on some new music or you just been? Yeah, I'm always working on some new music. I'm working on a project right now, two different projects. They gonna be live. Yeah, they, they gonna be fine. One of them will collab with them, the next one like my uh, first debut album. Yeah, what we'll be going through your mind when you hit the stage? You know, I'm so used to it now. Like, I do it yeah. so much, and I was doing it before I blew up, too. Like, I been here to name it, like, Memphis, yeah. Mississippi, like, the areas around this type. So how about you when you be on the on the field? When I hit the field, I just be like, I be super calm. I'm a super calm. Like, I don't ever, like, let it get to me type. Like you said, kind of like you said, you've been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. I just be thinking, like, ain't nobody finna stop me. You feel me? Like, like knowing your people in the crowd watching you, like what they be feeling like. Yeah, then when my people be in the crowd, they've been watching me since Lily, so I just want to put on a show on for them. You feel showing me? out. Yeah, yeah, for them. For Pickens, touchdown, Pittsburgh! What's your touchdown then? I did, uh, I did, Joe, I did the little. <laughs> for real? Yeah. <laughs> you be showing off, like you be talking shit like how they be talking, like. I be talking crazy, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I can't Maybe. even say that. Like, y'all really get mad at each other or like, y'all yeah. keep it in the game? Well, I know you be saying sometimes we hit the internet, like some people will be beefing on the internet, but really, for real, it be in the game. It'll stay in the game most of the time. So what was your transition from down south to out here in Pittsburgh? The weather, for real. Alabama, it get cold too, but it don't get cold like how it get cold out here. Like Man. Like, you see what I'm wearing now, and it ain't even that cold. I'm just <laughs> bracing, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> bracing for it. You move some of your folks out here with you so you won't be bored? Yeah, I got my brother with me. Oh, okay. How I feel with your j ones you know, being with you all through the music and stuff? Being in the industry, being around all these rich people, it can change you yeah. and shit. So like, they still keep me myself. Grounded, like, my, yeah. yeah. We used to be like in the Gloucester living room. That's my best friend I am. She used to stay like in the mound. Just like a ghetto part of me. We was all like just looking for a way out. And I just be remembering them conversations we had in the living room and now all of us, we live right now. That's fine, on me. That's like an American dream. Yeah, nah, for real. So how about with you and your brother? With me and my brother, it's the same way for real. Like, he taught, he really got me into football for real. He went to the league too for a little bit, so he already told me, he told me Who that. Who he played for? He played for the Raiders. He put me on game and then after that, I just started grinding. So, with you playing for the Steelers, yeah. like, what does the team mean to you and the whole city as a whole? Because I'm a huge Steelers fan. I'm a huge Steelers fan now, too. How long have you been a Steelers fan? Since you started playing for them? Nah, I've been a Steelers fan since, like, my senior high school. Oh, for real? Yeah. Okay. The fan base is crazy. Steelers Nation. I'm just thinking everybody fan base, you know, super big. Uh -huh. Nah, Steelers fan base different. I had a little fan base in Memphis already before I blew up. Like, yeah. And so I was used to the people in Memphis like seeing me in the stoves and like, can I take pictures? But it just got crazy after I blew up. I'm like, damn, I can't go nowhere. Like, oh, yeah. no one that other people love the shit at you and shit. That shit lit. Mm -hmm. I feel, you know, coming from Memphis. You know, Memphis, we got like people like Gotti, we got Bag, 3 Six Mafia. Yeah. We just got a lot of folks. So they inspired me. Cause we got gangsta one of the chick, the only females from Memphis that really made it. And so yeah. like, 
I always say to say to my mind, as long as I put the work in, it's gonna happen. I don't know when it's gonna happen. It shocked me when it happened, but I just knew me putting in the work, it was gonna happen. Yeah. How did it feel like, damn, a contract in front of me for all this money for what I've been wanting to do all my life? I was happy, but I was in like a vendetta mode against, you feel me, everybody. I'm like, I'm better than everybody, you know. Mm -hmm. They saying that's better than me. When I looked at the country, I was just like, it's still a blessing no matter if I went drafted or got undrafted at all, you feel mm -hmm. me? Like, what is the call? Like, do they call and say, like, how, yeah, how do you yeah. know? When Coach T called me, the head coach, when he called me, I was just like, I'm on the phone shaking for real. Like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I ain't trying to say too much. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm just trying to get to where I'm ready to get to work, you feel me? Uh -huh. When I hung up the phone, man, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna like, Shit, it's gonna get too crazy. You call him Coach T, I still be saying Mike Tumlin, like a bad issue. What's up, young lady? <laughs> How you doing, man? Hey, I didn't even know you knew who I was. Man, I want to take a picture with her. I want to take a picture with her. Yes, I know who you are. And I know who you are. Congratulations oh on your God. success. Live that life. Come on, let's do it. Man, that's awesome. I've been watching awesome. you since you became the coach. I appreciate it. Oh my I appreciate God, the I love. You so much. I appreciate I the love. I need it. <laughs> you know how it is. We live some yeah. of our public lives. We get enough hate. And I appreciate the love. Ooh, what? Like how you felt when he got you the phone call. It's kind of similar to how I felt when God had called me because yeah. everybody from Memphis, like, if you signed a God, it you yeah. made it out. Like this one of like the big dogs. Like he was like come to Miami. And then we met on the yacht. I know y'all was lit on that bitch. Hell yeah, like I had actually signed way before everybody else knew I signed. Like everybody else saw it when we did the jet. Who your favorite Steelers player this all a, time? This is a hard question because I, I like a lot. Okay, can I, can I have five? Yeah, do the five. Okay, so my first one I'm gonna say is Antonio Holmes. Yeah. He had got that little. That toe tap. Yeah. yeah that the dude did the immaculate reception. Oh, What's yeah, Franco Harris. Yeah, him. Big Ben, for sure. Oh, yeah. Big Ben. I'm gonna have to go with A.B. <sighs> Got to. Oh, and um, Trump Paul Moff. Yeah. I like Heinz Ward, too. Heinz Ward, yeah. I like Le'Veon, too, shit. That's <laughs> seven, that's seven. That's seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> My top five really the same, I ain't gonna lie. Same order and all. But she did seven, I'm adding my little two. Uh, <laughs> Woodley, the linebacker. Oh, yeah. My Woodley, uh, James Harrison. Oh, damn, yeah. I forgot to say him too. They had so that many tight ends, Miller. Miller, yeah. I f with him too. Miller like. Uh-huh, Boswell. Or the kicker, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I Boz. Yeah. I think I know what it is. I just saw it. <laughs> Play with me. <laughs> Don't ever play with me on no day. <laughs> no day. Y'all see what this say? Glow real. Big glow. 23. Thank you. I appreciate this. This live. I'm going to cherish this. I'm going to put For it up sure. on the wall in my house. You <laughs> welcome. Cry. You lit now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And guess why you think I was? San Antonio, huh? You <laughs> feel a little AB from time to time. <laughs> My first time being in Pittsburgh, and I got a Pittsburgh Steelers jersey. This is a lifetime achievement for me. Big glowing here in Pittsburgh. They know what the F it is. This is NFL City Life. We checking out. Big glow. See ya. Oh, dear. <laughs>